so in last video we uh, learned how to set up a uh, Wix project uh, in this video we'll uh, build this application uh, simple to do application uh, this will help you to learn how we go about building apps on Wix so let's get started so when we visit uh, so when initial page loads uh, it is loading this component to do component you can see that on router so everything will be happening inside this to do component all right so so simple single page component first i have created this toolbar this toolbar by the way i have uh, npm start running so that it is compiling all the code changes okay so uh, toolbar contains uh, one div that is this heading so this heading and this another one add task button so when we click on add task it is uh, creating uh, it is calling this add task uh, function so this contains uh, this code contains basic styling so yeah, you can find this code on github okay so uh, toolbar is complete and when someone hits on this add task uh, we are showing this model window so in this browser it looks uh, weird but uh, if you connect your mobile phone android device it will look perfectly fine uh, so when someone hits add task we are calling this function and let's go to that function there we go this add task function is uh, uh, calling this model uh, and this is the model title and so this is the Wix compo uh, this module uh, model module first we need to import this so this is built-in module by Wix we need to require this using this model Wix require module and so uh, and here uh, this uh, when someone hits ok after uh, submitting some value in this prompt it will call this callback function with this value and when value got uh, when there is something when there is not data and when someone hits cancel I am returning false so that we don't save anything uh, if everything goes ok so if user uh, enters some title and hits ok we are uh, pushing this value data to our task array there we go so let's see demo if uh, I hit cancel it is not uh, displaying anything so if I enter some task so sometimes it doesn't work here but if you connect your mobile device it will perfectly work some task hit ok so there we go so if you do not check for any data or anything let's save it reload so if you hit cancel it is still persists so that's why we need to check for that okay so this is uh, adding data part and also we are saving this data to local storage so if we do not save data to local storage uh, on page reload it will be gone right so that's why so storage set item and json string file this task so this storage uh, is also on the wix module so local storage like in browser won't work on mobile so this will work on both mobile and web that's why we need to import this uh, module storage module and uh, this is the syntax we uh, give the item key and then save whole task as a JSON string and when component is mounted we are getting this task from our local storage so storage get item and this is the syntax on event if everything goes ok success then we are parsing that JSON string and uh, pushing all those item assigning those item to tasks and after that is done we are uh, loading all list of tasks we are looping through all tasks and displaying all tasks here and also showing this button done so so currently done is just removing tasks uh, we can optimize this uh, in later videos now it is perfectly fine so remove it just removing item from array nothing much just removing item so if 
if this task variable uh, task array changes we are constantly watching that task variable uh, property and we are calling this save task method if anything changes so the change happen when someone adds tasks and removes tasks so we are constantly updating our local storage uh, on those events so this is a syntax deep true means if anything updates on uh, object level deep inside object like uh, this task data so generally this deep means uh, it will it will call this handler method if anything changes in nested level inside this task all right so suppose task contains like this object mm, data something so if in nested level this data changes it will also track the changes that's what deep means okay so if you want to know more about this module and this syntax uh, you can see on wix documentation uh, go to references and here you will see built-in components uh, list that we used cell and model yeah, you can get and get all examples here okay so this is a basic uh, task and here are all styles related to those uh, yeah, basic styling okay so this is very basic uh, so this list component is uh, supplied by uh, Wix so it will work for Android web everything so cell is uh, just inside list it is for uh, performance reason there is this component and yeah so uh, this simple component simple app so once you are done with coding once you are satisfied with uh, app you can create a dot apk file that you can install on your mobile phone by running npm run pack android so this will create the apk file also by the way uh, if you want to change anything related to this uh, app that will be created you can change it here so currently app name will be wix app and this will be the text that will be appearing on mobile uh, you can change all those settings here android.config.json okay so it is done uh, you can see this android application apk file created inside release android and wix app.apk so currently we gave name this wix app so it created like this you can change that anything you want so just copy this uh, so just install this on your mobile phone and you'll see your app running on your mobile okay so i hope this uh, video helped you to create basic uh, wix app so this is just getting started we'll create more complex application later in this playlist so keep eye on this playlist uh, creating wix app i'll uh, give link to this playlist uh, in description also so if you like this video uh, please consider liking and give some feedback on comments also subscribe and keep supporting this channel I will see you in the next video. Bye.